Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to Geeks and Gamers Play. And we know that every single time there's a Bethesda release, while there is a lot of initial hype, it's inevitable that the game is always filled with bugs. Some game breaking, some just stupid, and some stuff that just doesn't look quite right. So, upcoming game Starfield, which is of course from Bethesda, has fans preparing to make mods already, and this game isn't even out yet. So, Starfield is Bethesda's newest space action RPG set to come out next year. Keep that in mind. Next year, and there's already people making mods for this. It will be the first fully original IP developed by Bethesda in 25 years. Damn, that long. And although the company has had a tremendous successful games in the past, loyal fans also know what to expect upon release. Bugs. After the numerous bugs found in Fallout, Skyrim, and other Elder Scrolls games, they feel that it's best to be prepared. That is the reasoning behind the new large-scale community project, the Starfield Community Patch, the SCP. Some of the more memorable bugs from past games are remembered with humour, at least. That is true. Uh, that's the spinning head in Fallout to Las Vegas. Actually, it's called New Vegas, and that one wasn't Bethesda anyway. And the giant chickens in Skyrim. These games were created using Bethesda's creation engine, so Starfield may actually turn out uh, with, too, with too many bugs. Uh, this game will also be created using a modified version of the creation engine, but it's hard to be completely optimistic after so many bugs uh, after many releases. So on the Starfield Community Patches um, wiki page, which is over here, you can see the things that they've already put into plan what they're going to be working on. So the Starfield Community Patch project is a collective effort by mod authors and the wider player community of Starfield to fix bugs, errors, and other inconsistencies present in the game. This includes tweaks, typos, that's definitely going to happen, and other changes that may have been missed or yet or not yet released by developers. The overall goal is to improve the vanilla experience for all players. So this is a scope of things they're looking to do. So they're going to go for misplaced objects, script errors, inconsistencies and in item properties, faulty missions slash quest, game breaking exploits, missing attributes such as tags, uh, header flags, etc. Spelling errors. You'd think uh, a lot of this stuff will be in the game sorted before launch, but it is Bethesda, so these are the type of things we can expect. Personally, I think it's funny that we're at the stage where we know that a new Bethesda game is going to launch with a lot of bugs. So the modders are already getting ready to fix a game that's not even out for another year. Hilarious. But what do you guys make of all this? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Play and check out geeksandgamers.com. And I'll see you all in the next video.